and over here, these older ones down here, where they almost completely blend into the rock again. Yeah. Um, it's it's really really hard to say which one would be the oldest here. Uh, I would think these because this is more archaic style. Mm -hmm. That's more ancient Puebloan. Okay. Um, the one of the ways I I know about some of these is the archaic people would do more animals, more mm -hmm. people. They were smaller. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell what it was. Mm -hmm. Kind of tell what it was. Um, then the next group are what they call Barrier Canyon, and they're the ones that did pictographs, big paintings, mm -hmm. big crazy ones that you might have seen on some shows, like the sci-fi shows that talks about aliens and all this stuff. Right. Because they have these big eyes, and they all look like they're from Mars and stuff. And they're seven feet tall, and, and they're really hard to determine what it is because they don't really have arms and legs and things uh -huh. like that. They just kind of are like ghostly kind of images. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about that, and another reason why they think it's... <laughs> possible aliens is because they didn't peck they painted uh -huh. and they used a pigment that we're not exactly sure what it is oh wow and it's still the there thickens. it's still there over seven to ten thousand years later wow the rock so will fall off it... before the paint comes off no kidding um so it's really really unique that is creepy. some of the crazier colors red obviously they can get it some from this this rock and make pigment out of it mm -hmm. sometimes it's plant-based mm -hmm. or animal blood but they can't quite figure out why it lasts that Alien long. Alien blood. Could be. Could be. <laughs> um, but then the next group were Fremont. Fremont were the ones that were mostly here for the longest times, and they're the ones that moved up to the cliffs, to mm -hmm. the cliff dwellings. Um, they actually copied some of that weirdness and mm -hmm. went back to pecking. Um, and let me see if I could find one that's similar to Fremont here. Hard to say this one doesn't really have a specific one I can say, um, but then then the Anasazi or the ancient Puebloan were very geometric, mm -hmm. um, lots of jewelry, lots of little ornamentations, things like that, lots of things like that, and then uh, the most recent would be Ute, mm -hmm. and there were more more <laughs> horses and things like that. The most popular petroglyph is a uh, bighorn sheep. Yeah, bighorn sheep. Uh, Everywhere is a bighorn yeah. sheep. Um, occasionally you'll find buffalo mm -hmm. or even a horse. Horses obviously came later, um, but the bighorn sheep is their predominant staple. There were some buffalo here, but not as much. Came later. Um, that one's really cool. That's a bird. Is that really cool bird right there? That one, yeah. 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 And oh, this kind yeah. of frogman yeah. thing going yeah. on here. Yeah, that guy's interesting. And that's a bear claw. Oh, cool. So, and that thing, that I'm not sure. Skeleton? So it's, I'm not sure. So this, I'm pretty sure, is a scorpion. Oh, okay. But you see these There's things. There's another one. Yeah. It's so way too many they legs. They depict this a lot, and a lot of times, this one does very much look like a fish. Yeah. But other times, they're just kind of these. They come out with these weird lines, and I don't know. I used mm. to think it was like some sort of insect, mm. but they also planted. They were farmers. This, I'm positive, is some sort of plant. Wow. And I don't know, because a lot of times it could be a plant uh -huh. with roots. Yeah. And every time there's different amount of lines, mm -hmm. maybe it's how many crops they had that mm. year. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. How many wives they had, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. But what's interesting is sometimes you'll get a, a thing like this, and then you get this weird thing coming out of it. Right. This is the little guy it or little something. Humanoid. It it's like so hard fingers. to yeah. say, and right. everybody has their own interpretation, but honestly, nobody really knows exactly. Yeah. Um, but there's more if you want to see some more. Yeah. Literally anywhere along here, on the other side too, if you uh, kind of come around with rocks and stuff, you'll, you'll find you more. Some. Wow. See, there's kind of little doodaddies here. Yeah, those look old too. That could also be, I've seen things like that where they go up, and there is a dwelling up there, or wow. this will lead to another thing. There's a decent amount of vandalism that happens too, unfortunately.
It's like, yeah, and you got your little footprints. You got a human footprint, animal footprints, and who knows what they're doing there. <laughs> um, and then the, this thing, what's that? I think it's a, it's not an ostrich. Oh my gosh. I think it's one, it a looks blue like heron. Emu, yeah. We have blue heron here. Okay. Let's see, there's a big elk or something. Yeah. Or deer, and then there's a guy with a bow and arrow. Uh-huh. And here's another guy with a bow and arrow. Another really cool bird. Now I know that looks like a crab, but it does with those claws. All artists do their own kind of, you know, style. Oh, I can, those look old too. I, oh, those are super old. I'm wow. glad you saw that. I missed that last time. Those are super old. Where are they? Right there in to that black left. varnish, way um, up, up way there. Way up there, yeah. So I've actually I've seen so many petroglyphs that you can actually kind of follow a particular artists because huh. the way they do their hoofs yeah or the way they do their horns or whatever so it right. kind of makes it interesting these are these are very old these are pretty old down here yeah look like fern fawns no those are antlers oh those are antlers that's oh a, i see yeah, that's yeah. A on the deer big deer or yeah. elk wow very cool a couple more over here Six and these are really old. You can barely see them, even the little wavy lines. And another big elk right there, or deer. Yeah. Now these are plants again. I think uh -huh. these are plants coming out. You can barely see them in this lighting. What's your theory on the six toe thing? There was a lot of them out here that had six toes and six fingers. Huh. A lot of the petroglyphs do. I don't know. Maybe it added in their the climbing. Did? Yeah, I do. Huh. I don't know why else they would say why yeah. they would do that. But I would say almost half of the petroglyphs they see have six fingers or six toes. That's really weird. That's really weird. Or maybe they were marking it because it was extra special or something. I don't I don't know. 